one of the most fascinating aspect of everybody's life journey that we are called upon to perform different functions at different stages of our life sometime there's multiple roles that we perform are some of them are complementary in nature some of them are almost opposite to each other let's take a simple example in any situation we work in an organization or we uh, join a particular movement then sometime we become its leader sometime we also have to become a follower so both the functions which are opposite to each other are performed by the same set of people at different stages depending upon the opportunities that they have i want to focus more on the education sector where again we find exactly a similar kind of a paradigm similar kind of a structure there is a teacher and there is a student now they are positioned in an opposite kind of format but what happens is in the early stages of one's life you are largely a student you're eager you're curious you want to learn you want to acquire your knowledge and have having completed your knowledge at the college and the university level you take up a particular job whether the job is a, a teaching profession or elsewhere you are in a particular position where you do give advice to others you counsel others sometimes you even pontificate so you become a teacher but one thing which is extremely uh, essential to understand that you may be a maybe a teacher to different set of people maybe a guru counsel to different set of people but when it comes specifically to the education sector if you are in the teaching profession it's ex extremely important to remember that you spend a major part of your career in the teaching profession but you don't cease to be a student you don't have the option to not to keep on updating your own knowledge and i think that's the most important part which distinguishes a teacher in a teaching profession in the education space and people who have pretensions of being a teacher in other professions the reason why the teacher in the present context has to continue to upgrade his or her own, own knowledge is simply on account of the fact that education like several other factors is extremely dynamic in nature there are changes happening almost overnight and it's much more true now than ever before 25 30 years ago situation very different people are largely looking at the didactic form of teaching rote learning etc examination systems competitive examination getting marks and getting to universities and things but i think things are undergoing a, a drastic change largely on account to the fact that there is a huge explosion and proliferation of information knowledge on the digital space there are a lot of unforeseen situation that occur including the one through which all of us are passing currently disruptions caused by a pandemic of a covid-19 where apart from several other factors education sector has also been very very adversely affected but the teachers and the teaching profession who have continued to learn different skills have have not faced any major challenge in terms of continuing this, despite this unprecedented disruption that's the kind of strength of teaching profession and that's the relevance of a continuous training program and continuously keeping themselves updated major developments that are happening there are numerous changes that are happening at the global level in pedagogical space in content changes in issues like the curriculum alignment in issues like uh teachers today really not merely has to teach he or she has to understand the child psychology so there are several areas which have now become extremely pertinent and like what used to happen in the past you have must have understand must have understand development psychology you should understand how do you manage your class what kind of visual connect that you 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 make with your 
with the students. Interestingly, the teacher's task today has become far more difficult, far more challenging because students today are far more aware, far more knowledgeable because every child today right from the early stage has an access to technology and he or she is able to find out information about every subject under the sun. So teacher really has to raise her level of knowledge several notches above not merely in trying to share the information in, from the book, but also explain the concepts, get concept clarity. So therefore, it's very, very important that all the entire teaching community at all levels stays completely tuned to the latest trends and keeps on adding to her or his knowledge. Now, the knowledge accretion or knowledge acquisitions or knowledge raising the bar can happen by multiple ways. It could be done through the, the, the structured, organized manner. It can even happen in a very informal kind of a setting. For example, a teacher, when he, he or she teaches a classroom, okay, uh, there's, a, there's a constant learning happening because the, today, there's, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of information can be exchanged today. The teacher also learns by from the peer group. They also today are exposed to several kind of uh, um, organizations of events and workshops and webinars and whatever you. So they, there's this, this kind of thing happening over a regular period of time. But that, that informal training program has its own limitation. You are not in a position to fully Immerse yourself in that, that portion of the knowledge which you are trying to see. So therefore, it's extremely essential. I think I would say almost mandatory for every teacher to set apart in a, in a one-year period of time, minimum 15 to 20 days, and almost take a sabbatical and join a training institution. Now, it's also therefore extremely important we have to create important teachers training institution which are evidence based which are research based which have an access to the best global practices and are able to pass on to that teacher now that in turn if our teacher is well versed if teacher is more accomplished the student community will benefit it's axiomatic to say that you will be able to give to somebody only what you have. You can't do anything. You can't give them something which you don't possess. So we need to therefore fill up, create more opportunities for a teacher to up upgrade his or her learning. And as I said, learning in a very structured manner. That's where the importance of uh, organized training institutions uh, comes in. Whether it's done through government organizations or whether it's done through Private sector, and I think private sector also needs to play an extremely important part because um, a huge number of schools today which have set up a tremendous amount of, uh, give an example of excellent track record performance, academic performance, are now into trying to set these training academies for a purposeful, structured, organized training program for the teachers so that they remain uh, fully aware. Lifelong learning is the message and it may or may not happen in other professions, but certainly for a teaching profession, lifelong learning through all sources is absolutely mandatory. So I think let's all resolve that if you really want to raise the level of our children's knowledge, sense of responsibility, make them responsible citizens so that they're able to uh, contribute effectively to the overall growth. So not merely they are academically very well qualified, they also understand the skills, they have a reasonably good scientific temper, they're also immersed into social emotional kind of learning and they also are happy children because happiness also becomes a critical important 
for to 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 acquire sustained learning if you're happy you learn faster there is a symbiotic relationship between the two so all told in different kind of a aspects in a very transdisciplinary manner we need to create this institution which spend where teachers have an opportunity to spend time and once they come out of it i'm sure they are far better qualified and would be in a much better position to deliver quality which is the need of the hour thank you